Now, I'm going to tell you this one story, uh, Abram, and Abram, my 19-year-old, gave me permission to tell you this story. But just a few years ago, I noticed that Abram, he was in high school at the time, he's in college now, but in high school, uh, he was just going through, I could just tell he wasn't himself. And, and every parent of teenagers knows that when you ask a teenager how they're doing, are you doing okay? What's their answer? Yeah, fine. How you doing? Fine. That's not true. I'm not fine every day, and I know they're not fine every day. I said, Abram, what's really going on with you? Nothing, fine. So I took him to lunch. I was really worried about him, and I took him to lunch, and we sat down in a booth. Now, Pam was with me, so she's a witness to this. Pam and I are sitting on one side of this booth in a restaurant. Abram, by himself, is sitting on the other side. And I said, now, Abram, I'm going to give you one more time. Would you tell me what's going on with you? He said, nothing. I'm fine. I said, Abram, I'm about to ask the Lord. and I'm giving you one more chance to tell me what's going on. He said, Dad, I'm fine. I said, okay. As we pray for, the meal came, I think, about that time, and I said, we're going to pray for our meal, and I'm going to ask the Lord to speak to me. And I just, it was really really simple. Nothing weird about this. This this is normal stuff in my house. My kids get away with nothing at my house, (laughs) and neither should your kid. So we're sitting in this booth, and I said, Father in heaven, I am your sheep. And I know your voice, and I know that you speak. What's going on with Abram? I mean, just that simple. Nothing really spiritual about that. And I, I just waited just for 30 seconds. And I opened my eyes, and I told him exactly what was going on with him. And I, <laughs> I'll never forget Abram's face. And it's not the first time this has happened, but it was, so, it was such a personal thing. And I'm not going to tell you what it was because it's very personal. And, very, and I would never tell you what it was. But it was exactly what was going on in his life. And let me tell you why why the Lord did that that day. Because I want Abram to know that he's also the sheep of God's pasture. And listen, moms and dads, you want to disciple your kids? You have to teach them to hear the voice of the Lord. That's the only way you'll ever disciple your children. But by the way, the only way you and I are ever going to be disciples is if we hear the voice of the Lord. And that's why the gift of prophecy can change your life home. Something broke in Abram's life that day. Something broke in my relationship with him that day. Now, uh, dozens of times in the last three years, Abram has come to me and said, Dad, would you pray with me? I need to hear the Lord. He trusts me now to hear God's voice. And, And I trust him to be hungry for the things of the Spirit. And our entire relationship, we've always had a great relationship, but listen, God wants to use the Holy Spirit to shape and to form every relationship in your life.